Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna find out if you have elevated shoulders. So in this video, we're gonna cover what are the harmful effects of elevated shoulders and what are three simple, easy assessments you can do to actually find out if you have elevated shoulders. Let's dive in now. So I want to answer the question, when should you care if you have elevated shoulders and when don't you need to care? So when should you care? If you've had headaches, neck pain, feel like you've carried a lot of tension through the shoulders, had upper back pain and felt just weird sensations, cracking, popping going on in the neck then I want you to do these tests for elevated shoulders coming up. Now, even if you don't have anything right now, but you get symptoms from doing whatever it is you might be doing, then you need to go through these tests. Now, if you have nothing at all, if you've never had any issues with your neck or headaches or hypertension or a lot of excessive tension going on in the neck, then you don't need to care. However, if you know that you're like, oh yeah, my shoulders, I definitely carry up my shoulders really high, then it's something you could change, but it's not actually necessary for you to change it. Unless you start developing symptoms though, and then that's when you wanna go through these assessments that we're gonna go through to find out if you actually do have elevated shoulders. So let's go through our three simple assessments to really find out if you have elevated shoulders. And the first assessment is the most important assessment because oftentimes when we think, okay, elevated shoulders, we think of someone that has to be up here. And that's actually not the case. What elevated shoulders really means for our purposes is that, let's take for example me, right? I'm in the middle. I don't have, from an alignment perspective, elevated shoulders but nor do I have lowered shoulders or we'd say depressed shoulders, right? I'm in the middle. However, if when I shrug up, and I want you to do this with me, when I shrug up all the way, if that caused me discomfort, then I qualify for having elevated shoulders. And you could say a propensity towards elevated shoulder pain, or if you actually do have elevated shoulders, then you have elevated shoulder pain. So either way though, the idea is that when you shrug up, and I also want you to try shrugging up with your arms, shrugging up as much as you can, does it cause pain? And if it does, or does it, does it cause pain? Is there any weird sensations? Is there any just anything uncomfortable going on? And for a lot of people, it's not even around their neck. It might be through the shoulders, through the elbows or hands, down through the back, right? But when they do that, it's like, whoa, I, that doesn't feel great to me. Or they hear clicking and popping and different sounds going on, right? That is something you need to look into and we are going to correct that. And going through these assessments is the first step in correcting and identifying and getting out of elevated shoulder pain. And I wanna say this too, a lot of people who are doing these tests right now, they're like, okay, no problem, no problem. But they have a job where they might be loading stuff up onto shelves. They might be doing, um, maybe it's, um, a design work in their house, uh, painting, anything where you're having to raise up your arms uh, quite a bit. It even could be uh, um, when you're swinging um, a tennis serve, for example, but the shrugging up motion causes discomfort, right? And so for a lot of people, this is just not going to necessarily do it, but they know if but they might know that, oh, if I paint for, for over an hour or two hours or whatever, then it does cause me pain. Well, that means you still qualify for having elevated shoulder pain and we're going to correct that. So while the first test is a movement test, right? Because I'm shrugging up my shoulders to see if there's discomfort. The second test is an alignment test, which only really considers if the alignment is a factor in your elevating shoulders pain. 
Now, it's not going to be, it can't be the only factor. Like I said, there's a lot of people that carry their shoulders up here and they're not going to have problems. That doesn't mean that you need to actually lower your shoulders. I've had plenty of clients where they've had that posture. They don't have anything going on in the neck. We don't necessarily correct it. And so we don't have to worry about it. However, if you have a posture which is like this, then we actually may look to measure that angle here and then to do activities which will lower it. And what might those activities look like? Well, stay tuned in upcoming videos where we're going to go more specifically into treatments for each of these assessments. But activities like dumbbell carries, right? Um, bench pressing, uh, anything pressing related, anything pull-up related, uh, that will tend to lower the shoulders over time and it can help people change their alignment so they're not always so up here. There's gonna be a lot of people that when they relax, right? A lot of people get that alignment either because they're genetically predisposed to it, which it's still somewhat changeable, or they might be like at a desk, you know, and they're just like this and they're shrugged up all the time. And so if you have discomfort, especially if you're like, ah, oh, I get pain after a while here, but then it feels better when you're like, ah, oh, just kind of down here like that. Well, that means that we are not only looking to get out of being staying shrugged up so much, but we are looking to change your alignment, right? Now, if I found a person who, uh, represented like me, I wouldn't necessarily want to change their alignment, but I'm definitely going to focus on how they're moving up. And the first assessment is the most important for that. All right. Now, the third assessment relates to tension. There's a lot of people who will just naturally carry this excessive tension up here and they might be under a lot of stress. They might have a high stress job. Um, they might be a caretaker for a lot of kids, but regardless, they're going to carry that stress and then they're going to raise up their shoulders like this. And usually these people, when they elevate their shoulders, or if I keep them elevated for a while, they're going to be like, oh yeah, there's some discomfort. It feels weird up there. Right. But when we allow them to relax and especially if they get like a massage, if they're doing soft tissue work on their back, right. And we can allow them to relax then their discomfort goes away. So some treatments for those people include soft tissue work, like massage work done on here. You might do that yourself with some like massage balls. You might get a masseuse or massage therapist to help you. And then also consciously relaxing those shoulders as you go throughout the day and making sure that we're breathing and not getting into this very tense state, right? Which is almost natural when we're not breathing and conscious of that. We might be unconsciously shrugging up your shoulders. So my question to you is, do you have pain elevating your shoulders? Do you have an elevated shoulder alignment? And do you carry a lot of tension in your neck area? So please put your comments in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.